Hello everyone, uh, this is a demonstration for uh, some of the keyboard bindings that I'm uh, putting in the guide, so just wanted to kind of demonstrate how to use them, so uh, here we go. So I double bound straight forward and throttle 100 to W, so all you got to do is hit W, now I'm at full throttle. If I hold W, I'm strafing forward, which is the same thing but you're gonna see a difference in a second. So like, let's say I wanna strafe a little bit to the left. So now I can hit Q. This is me not holding W. I got 100% mixing with my Q, which is strafe left, right? And now I'm gonna press W and you'll see it. Now it's like counting my forward strafe twice because of that 100% throttle. So that can allow you to strafe less than you normally would. It, gives you as close to analog strafe as you can get with just a keyboard. So uh, using this, so right now I'm holding Q and W using the key bindings I set up and if I use D to roll, it's like you can see you can start to get that kind of uh, skidded roll type action. It's not as pretty, the TVI isn't moving quite as, quite as evenly, but uh, you can definitely keep yourself moving in somewhat of a spiral and with the mouse which is you know not coupled to your aim like this you can definitely get some shots on target without being hit yourself so uh, that's how you use the W and the S keys so if I hit S here it's gonna do two things well if I hold S so first S0 is my throttle and this is important because whenever you want to go backwards you don't want the throttle uh, mixing with your uh, your strafe inputs. So now I'm holding S, which is also strafe backwards. So oh, I don't remember. Is it period? Yeah, and the keyboard's period. There we go. So like, yeah. So if I had just done strafe backwards here, let me see if I can. Uh, so I'll do that, and then. I'll increase my throttle to 100 to show you what this looks like. So right now I am holding S, I'm strafing backwards, but I have 100% throttle. And as you can see, it just stops. That's because you're canceling out your backward strafe with your 100% throttle there. So yeah, that sucks. So that's why I bound it so that S is both, uh, both throttle zero and reverse strafe. And yes, I know it's bound by default for double tap, but that's not good enough for me. <laughs> uh, so, but if you want to keep it as double tap, that's cool. I just decided to bind both. And then I moved uh, throttle to five, four and five. Like that, so that's four and five now. Okay, so another thing you can do. So like, let's say, this is a big thing when the uh, additive strafe came out is everybody's like oh now I can't strafe full left or full right um, because I leave my throttle 100% and I never manage it which you know is interesting but people quickly realize that there are ways around this so what I'm gonna do here is let's say somebody's coming here and alright oh, well I guess I'll use these platforms don't judge me I, uh, I don't normally fly with a mouse and keyboard and it's not as simple as people think alright so now I'm uh, I'm holding Q, right, and I've still got that 100% throttle. So my desired velocity vector that my IFCS is trying to achieve is actually only 45 degrees to the left, even though it looks like it's on the left side of the screen there. It's so like, well, what if I wanted to go full left strafe instead of left and forward strafe? Well, now I can just tap my S key because that's got the throttle zero. So I just hit it once, and you can see there, big difference, right? And now I'm like... <laughs> thrusting away right because uh, that's just the way it works but now I am like full left strafe right now and if I switch to E and go full right strafe so that's how you do that and then uh, let's say you were alright so Q and then hit S to zero my throttle and it's so like let's say okay now I want to get closer so now you can just hit W again and now I'm holding it so it's got the uh, double 100% and straight forward and now I'm just letting off W but I still got the throttle in so now it's my uh, 
TVI is 45 to the left. So that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, so that's how you use these uh, key bindings. And hopefully it can allow you to do some stuff. Oh, one other thing I'll show you. The biggest reason why I um, don't fly with throttle now is because, like I said, messing up my backwards movement, um, it'll mix. So with the, this uh, set of key bindings, you can do the arcing zoom, which I, you know, a lot of people really like the skidded roll or legacy roll. I think that's got more views than any other video I've made, but I think the arcing zoom is something people don't really uh, take a closer look at. So to do that, oh, well, well. <sighs> All right, so to do that, Let's say um, somebody's coming at you, or actually let's boom in first. Uh, pretend like this platform is a person, so let's see how well I can do this with keyboard. All right, so I'm gonna go past them, and then I am I hit my S key and my Q key, and then I'm using my period key to look behind me. You might wanna bind that to something else too. So looking at my TVI, and then I can roll with D. So that's the kind of... So if I hadn't bound uh, throttle zero and backward strafe to the same key, I wouldn't be able to do that with so few key presses. Um, and one thing that keyboard users have to deal with is uh, having to press a bunch of keys at once. You just end up not having that many fingers. So it's like, I'll show it again. So I'm just holding S, now I'm putting in Q, you can do E2, and then now I'm hitting D. So my middle finger is on S, my ring finger is on Q, and there's D with my index finger. And so fire's coming at me, I roll a little bit, fire's coming at me, I roll a little bit. And because you've got that backwards and sidewards strafe, the velocity vectors between you and your target are going to be so divergent that it's going to be pretty much impossible for them to hit you unless they're in like a 350R or something. Uh, then there's really no escape. Uh, anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching.